In this video, I will be talking to you about symbols in this book that I obtained from the library. I will also let you know that I'm drinking some sparkling wine because I feel like it. It's at the very end of the day. And I'm going to go watch the sunset later and get some sun in my eyes. But I'm not condoning drinking. I'm just doing it. So, one of the things that's important also to just clarify is that humans were not uh, designed to be a slave race. You may hear it uh, out there in internet land. You may hear it from people. And they pontificate it like they know. Nope. Nope. Um, human beings were not created to be a slave race. And this I know in my DNA. And the DNA knows the truth of one's being. So that's all I'm going to say about it. The symbols that I'm going to talk to you about, first of all, the cube. Now it's been said that the very center of the universe there is the cube. And first you have to get past... Basically, you create your own Merkaba, so the Merkaba, the toroidal field of the Earth, which is like this big, huge hourglass, figure eight, and around our own bodies. So our heart is the force field around our physical body, and the Earth also creates a force field. So look up Schumann Resonance and understand Schumann Resonance so that you can get on board with the concept that the Earth is a sentient being. She's called Sophia, the wisdom goddess, and that um, you're a child of hers. And if you relate to that, great. If you don't relate to that, then perhaps you might uh, be happy to know that it's okay <laughs> because we've all been programmed not to remember who we are. And, and furthermore, I did, I did some videos about what I'd let the Christians to know. Basically, when we um, were in Europe, our ancestral uh, peoples were traumatized and killed for practicing the old festivals and old traditions that marked eight points on the calendar that wasn't a calendar, but it was a cycle, a circle, which is timeless, which is marked by seasons, which is completely different than a calendar marked by uh, regimented months named after wars, war gods like March, Mars, June, Juno. So this is the cube right here. And you can read in your own words right there. It's essentially a symbol of stability. The next one I'd like you to see is um, the, the word. Word. Oops. Because in the beginning there was sound. Um, it was sound. Before there was language, the, the Phoenicians, phonetics, Phoenicians, the Phoenicians that are like like part of the Cainites, which is like, we don't really like them. Um, Cain killed Abel because Abel wasn't able to kill Cain. That wasn't true. Cain overthrew Abel because Abel was a peace-loving, he loved his mother. Cain was a warring motherfucker, and he went on to um, create a race. This is the early part of humanity that was warring and obnoxious and power over others rather than loving and motherly and nurturing and caring and allowing the, the divine male and female to be one. I, I once had a dream, this is a good time to bring it up, and it was a big hairy monster guy and I'd never seen him like, ever again but he came into my dream and he said men and women they do the same thing they are one men and women they are one they do the same thing. We are one. So the rift between masculine and feminine 
as just another way for the parasite to divide and conquer. So it's up to us to get a clue and not fall for that crap do So um, a person's name was an intrinsic part of his being, and it was called the Ka. There's Merkaba. So you're starting to follow along with this stuff? Um, the lion, uh, it has got a lot. It's got a whole page on it, if not more. You know, screenshot. You can read that. But by the book, ISBN 0064333140. Right, um, the magical power was present, and was also part of the lionhead goddess um, of segment and the lion being. So they are said to actually be real. Um, the lion and the sun came together in Persia. Um, of the uh, Mahavidyas, what ride? Um, Lions, the self beheaded uh, goddess of a Hindu. Which one is it? Sh she's the self beheaded one because she's taking out her own ego and she's actually carrying her own head. She's on a, a lion. So the next thing I'm going to show you oh, this is actually, you know, more lion. You know, da 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 da. Um, here's the next page. But again, by the book, I'm not going to get copyright infringement, please, because I'm promoting the book. I'm promoting the book for sale. This is for sale and education and promoting the book. The next one is Jewel. Remember I talked to you about the Shakti Cluster app and the Jewel is in the Lotus? It's on page 69 and 70, and it's very um, important, again, to recognize the Jewel that is their third eye, the pituitary gland, um, but also um, your own ability to connect to Christ consciousness, you know, the crown jewels. Little kids oftentimes draw crowns on top of their people, and this is well before the age of 10 when they've had it indoctrinated out of them. I always drew crowns, and it wasn't because I had been disnified because I didn't watch television. We didn't have it. I don't even remember watching television for the longest time. And then when I did, I hated it because it always put me into a trance and I felt tired. And it was Mr. Rogers, and it was black and white. And we were limited. My mother didn't allow us to watch that much. We were forced to go outside. We were forced. Oh, we have to go outside and play in the woods? And use our imaginations and climb trees. What a bummer. <laughs> oh, so much fun. It was a hot, steamy day, folks. And I just went for a, whew, a little bit hot. Mm. So, I'm also drinking. So, this, let me slow down a bit. The jewel um, is in the lotus. is a magical formula. I'm reading from the book. Amone Padme Om which is OM, O-M, one word, Mani, M-A-N-I, Padme, P-A-D-M-E, and then OM, H-U-M, is uttered daily by the Tibetans, according to this book, and uh, it can be interpreted in various ways. It can uh, denote also the creative act of sexual union uh, between the Shakti and the Shiva, the, the male and the female, and the uh, fact it also remains that jewels have uh, magical properties. I will not buy a diamond because gold is better, as is emerald. And why should it be dictated to us what's valuable? And then have people, you know, blood shed because, okay, now noose, um, page uh, 75 here, basically it's one of the, well, the weapons because it's used to yank back, Lakshmi um, is the, uh, the, the goddess Devi and as one of the Vishnu's incarnations, um, is Kartikaya, Kartikaya, but um, 
goddesses were hidden. The goddess knowledge, the female, the wisdom goddess, um, hid through people um, the information in in India, and you do know that England. Uh, went to that country and raped it and pillaged it and made people poor, right? Those people weren't like that. Those people had beautiful... The caste system wasn't what it is like it is now. I'm just going to... I'm saying. I'm just saying. They had it, yes. However, they always revered the female. And if you observe a, a couple that is in, from India, the man respects the female. Western men have been told not to. Plus... It's been, the witches were killed, um, the women were blamed for everything that went wrong uh, in Western civilization, sex was demonized, uh, they did the corset, remember they did the corset so tight so that women's bodies were deformed, they were so deformed, their, their, their uh, oh gosh, their intestines didn't work right and they died early. So there's a the picture of the news. Uh, the next one is the wheel. I talked to you about the wheel of fortune. Also, the cipher zero is actually a, a key to understanding all that makes up the world. Um, the wheel is on the bottom here. In ancient Greece, Celtic Europe, and in the east, a symbol of the sun, which evolved into the solar disk. Japan still uses the color red. Um, to show it is the land of the rising sun. In the Indian medicine wheel, red is actually a color for the south. The home is also blood. The home, the heart, the female. And then as you can see here, the wheel also is showing eight points. Just like the eight um, celebrations and traditions that the um, people of Europe practiced before Papal Bola, bullshit, Bula, was stamped in lead. And that meant that the rulers that were put in place, that were the archons, archon means ruler, were basically opportunists. And they were put in place to rule over the people, hence ruler, 12 inches, all that blah, blah, blah. So the Wheel of Life is important, and um, you can look that stuff up for yourself. The next thing is gold. Gold is uh, sun, sun god, a symbol of illumination. Uh, gold also is extremely valuable, and we hear about how this planet was has been harvested for gold. It's in quite a few of the legends. If you can get yourself some kind of colloidal gold or something like that, then you can take it. Like Ormus has some sort of like gold. So look up Ormus, look up gold. Blindfold, whoo! Okay, blindfold. I talked about my last video, how Lady Liberty, not Lady Liberty, excuse me, the justice system in the United States of America has a blindfolded uh, woman holding up scale. If you look at the tarot, <laughs> she's got a double-edged sword. There is no blindfold. She sees everything, and she's holding up the scale so she knows what she's weighing. She wouldn't weigh shit against gold. And if the shit weighed more, the shit was worth more. No, that's what happens in our justice system, our judiciary system. That's fake. So symbol of moral and spiritual ignorance. There you have it, folks. Um, next symbol, hands. The position of hands. <laughs> oh, here we go. They all mean something. Okay? And so, people are always looking at videos to see whether or not there's, you know, look up yoga hand mudras and then you'll get all of this and the last thing I'm gonna show you oh gosh the yoni 
which is the female beauty parts. The yoni! Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> the beauty of sex and the sexual union between male and female had to be vilified, had to be demonized in order to get people away from their animal nature and their understanding of their divinity because sexuality in a way of sacred connection between divine masculine and divine female, like my partner, my divine male, and myself, is a way of healing each other, connecting to the earth, connecting to creation, all that is, as far as not all that is, but um, the love beam, the, the, the love, peace, and joy. And my little joke is, that's why we say, oh God, oh God, you know, that's why we say that. So the Yoni is the concept of the Mother Goddess, the universal creatrix. And it, it's from great antiquity that it first took shape among very early prehistoric communities. Uh, it, it wasn't um, ever, ever um, considered pornography and disgusting. So uh, you'll see that several of the goddesses, actually the vulva will be showing. Um, so... That's all I'm going to say for now. Um, basically, this book is a good one. You should get it. Or go to the library. Now, this book is another one I'll show you because it has more pictures of brighter color. And this is Buddhism. And I wanted to show you this Bodhisattva. Bodhisattva. So according to one school of Buddhism, uh, the Bodhisattvas are enlightened beings who put um, off nirvana to insist others in enlightenment. So to me that would be the Mahavidyas and the the Kinis, but I could be totally wrong. Uh, it could be every individual. Because um, if you knew, maybe you do, maybe you don't, if you knew the totality of the evil that's happening on this planet Earth, <laughs> you might not get out of bed in the morning. But this is a beautiful oops, picture. And yet the thing is, is the whole idea is to stay conscious and to stay within the love and the frequency specific um, match to the earth and her her um, her her tra transit position from a dense 3D into a 5D. You may have heard of that, like 5D, what's that? So it doesn't require a given number like the 100th monkey theory. You don't have to wait for anybody else. And you may have friends and family that don't know what you're talking about. That's why you go on the internet and listen to videos like this. Uh, because my partner loves me and he understands God as an ever-present energy that is in all things and that's good enough for me so here we have the swastika which is basically a very ancient and auspicious sign auspicious is good uh, with complicated symbolism because you know it's associated with the sun but it also is showing us the four limb galaxy so the center the ionic core we're in the third limb of this four limb galaxy and the galactic core is where Sophia fell from. So she's our Earth. Because she came here because... Uh, if you take a look at that solar system that we're in, the asteroid belt, that was once a planet and it blew up. <laughs> um, so alchemy and, and shapes. So we're going to look here. There's water, there's fire, um, mercury, uh, sulfur and the sun and the seal of Solomon which is really a Merkava um, so you know take a look at that these are ancient 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 symbols so I'm gonna end there I just I suggest that you um, oh yeah the five-pointed star 
So witches and things like that, they were associated with the devil. Um, the devil didn't exist. Christians brought it with them when they invaded the Europeans. And what happened was um, they killed the wise people, the, the leaders, they killed the healers. Uh, they, being the Roman Catholic Church, and the, through the Holy Crusades, and through paid um, people, evil was done. And evil meant killing, because the opposite of live is not alive, which is evil. And so, uh, what went down uh, was then, subsequently, the uh, Black Plague, which may or may not have been engineered, uh, but I believe it was because sanitation was so bad and vermin were everywhere because the smart people weren't around. They were dead, and uh, they weren't able to actually do anything about the um, fall of society. So, rather than getting all in dismay about this, just start using symbols to your own advantage and begin to understand them as methods to speak to your sacred unconscious, your, your divinity. So you can, why don't you start painting or drawing again? Remember what doodling? Doodling was um, not condoned. In fact, it was punished. It wasn't like a wooden ruler. Blah! You just got like embarrassed in front of the class. And actually, it's been proven, I suppose. I can't tell you it's been proven, but if you doodle while you're listening to like me talking to you, you retain more of the information. If you doodle in lecture hall, of course you're going to take notes, right? But if you doodle, it's not one of those classes that you have to take notes. You'll retain more of the information because you're awakening more of your brain. <laughs> the things they teach you not to do, see, are good to do. Everything's inverted here. Meaning, um, the very evil people get rewarded financially and the really good people don't always. And so it's up to you, my dear friend, to uh, focus on your heart and create a life worth living by having authenticity and cultivating yourself. Self-cultivate. Nobody else is going to give you the permission to be your totality. Only you. Just like choices, we are our choices. We make a choice and then we experience the consequences. And if we like the consequences, we carry on with that choice. And if the consequence isn't so neato, then we move on to a different choice. Yeah? So, um, that's all I'm going to say right now about symbols. And how would you use them in your, um, your life? Um, you would use them by thinking about how you can you yourself can empower your day-to-day -day living. Um, you don't have to go outside of yourself and obtain objects and be a consumer and pay. You can you can creatively find a way to feed your spirit and have around yourself an awareness to your world that it's beyond words because originally we didn't speak because we telepathed. We didn't have to use our mouth to talk <laughs> to each other. And because we all telepath, um, we were able to know the truth of everybody and that, that was slowly taken away by rules in Popol Bula. <laughs> and in my opinion, um, that's that's where, the, you know, that term, that's bullshit. Like, where, do, where did that come from? <laughs> to, to me, that, that, that came from that. That came from the Bula. So, we're in the Great Awakening, and it doesn't mean that we have to wait for anybody else. And it doesn't mean the cause for dis dismay if nobody in your immediate family or your friends has a clue. We're all going to wake up at certain different times, and some people aren't. Some people aren't. 
and you have joy in your heart and love and, and keep your eyes open and your heart even more open. And to put your attention into that which sustains you and makes you feel empowered as opposed to that which disempowers you. Because a disempowerment of humanity is the goal of the parasite. They want to feed off of your sadness and your drudgery and your struggle and your strife. You know, you are capable of rising above. So, peace out, and I will talk to you again.